Hello and welcome to the Spirit Safe. My name's Rob. Thank you very much indeed for joining me for the second whiskey review of the year. Last week was an Irish single malt whiskey, Connemara Peated. This week, back to more familiar territory, we have a Scotch single malt whiskey. It is the 10 year old Stronaki single malt whiskey. First thing I'll tell you, there is no distillery called Stranaki. Um, Stranaki was a distillery. It was demolished a long, long time ago. A.D. Rattery & Co., uh, who, are, who were whiskey merchants, still are, uh, probably part of a bigger group now, I, I seem to remember. Um, they bought one of the last four bottles on earth from the Stranaki distillery drew a small sample from it. They also bought the rice to the Stranaki name and they went about trying to find a single malt that was similar in style to the Stranaki and they found that at the Ben Rinnes distillery. Ben Rinnes, a Highland distillery owned by Diageo. So they started to bottle Ben Rinnes uh, single malt whiskey under the Stranaki name. They gave it an age statement and they um, they stole the label design from the original bottle that they that they bought, which is probably I can't remember how old it is, but very, very old. And they've they've copied the label right down to all of the splodges and everything. Um, the one thing they have added, uh, which is good, is a ten year old age statement. There's also an eighteen year old uh, version of this available also in BC. Uh, it's bottled at 43%, it is artificially coloured and uh, it is chill filtered, but I have to say I don't think it's been coloured beyond recognition. They've certainly not tried to make it look like a, a roasted chestnut colour. Uh, I, I think they've been pretty restrained with the with the colouring and I'm not and um, there's still plenty of flavour left in it after the, the chill filtration. At this price point, I'm actually going to consult with the uh, with the receipt that I put in the box. How much do I pay for this? I paid uh, $88.54 Canadian. That is including all taxes. Um, so it's on the cheaper end um, of the scale. Many people will see this on the shelves and think that it's a, uh, that it's a blend. It's not. It's a single malt. Um, very few people have tried a Ben Rinnis, um because they don't have a distillery bottling, I think, lower, younger than a 20-year-old, which I think is very, very expensive. Um, so very few people will have heard of Ben Rinnis, although it's very, very popular with blenders. Um, very few people will have had a, a single malt. Um, A.D. Rattray have, bought, have brought a, a, a single malt from this distillery that few people have tried. They've brought it to market at a... Pl a Price that everybody can afford. So um, I take my hat off them. Let's, let's go a bit closer. Label. It, it really is very nice how they've uh, stolen the the design from a from the eight year old whiskey. Okay. So again, the colour. There's a tinge of orange to it, but I really don't think that they've gone overboard with the uh, with with the colouring. A really nice, bright and breezy nose on this. Nothing really stands out as unpleasant or sharp about it. There's a light honey note, a slightly sharp maltiness to it. But honey and heather. A light barrel char, it could be a tiny pinch of peat in it. Really very nice, very, very malty, almost as malty as the tomato was. That, that's one thing that I noted. Obviously the tomato's got uh, additional sherry finish, which this doesn't, but... A slightly sour maltiness as well, a bit like a, uh, a bit like a Arveni. Earthy heather notes going through. Just a hint of dried fruit. It's not the most complex nose, but it's very, very pleasant. Very nice to, to hang out with. A 
almost some sea salt in there as well, a hint of uh, a hint of white pepper. Really very nice. Mm. On the palate, it's a a sour maltiness that fades to a sweetness, and then there's kind of a a leathery. It progresses to a kind of leathery finish. Mm. Yeah, it is slightly peppery. And it is very, very malty. It's quite thin on the palate. So it's quite light in body. But there's plenty of flavour going on there. Really nice honey notes to it. Hmm. Yeah. I like this. I bought it on a whim. Uh, because I'd never seen a Stranaki in BC. It wasn't on the BC Liquor website. But I did find it in store. Next to an 18 year old. Which is about $130 plus tax. This obviously a lot cheaper, $88 including tax. I think it's very, very well priced. Um, any uh, Speyside Highland fan would like it. Um, makes a nice gift because it's so wonderfully presented. Uh, really lovely bottle. Um, just a nice whiskey. <coughs> presented nicely at a nice price. Shame about the colouring, shame about the chill filtration. Good that they've added an age statement and that there are two age statements in the range. Um, a welcome thing to see on the shelves at your local whiskey store. Let's go back in because I'm conscious I've not said a lot about it. It's just bright and breezy and malty and honeyed. I'm not finding any strange flavours. I usually like to say, oh, red licorice or... Uh, something weird like smoked fish but there's, there's not really an awful lot of that I've been drinking a lot of either whiskey over the last few uh, over the last week or so as well there's something more sweet coming through red apples starting to appear as it's had a bit of time to breathe there are more sort of effervescent uh, fruity notes coming through like pineapple, uh, red apple. More of that wonderful malt. It really is as malty as the tomato. A hint of lemon oil as it goes down. That little bit of um, little bit of citrus that just cuts through the the sweetness. This is really quite a competent malt. Nice, uh, nice for somebody who doesn't enjoy the very uh, peated either whiskies. Nice for people who don't. You know, a lot of people nowadays think that there's two kinds of Scotch whisky. There's a peat monster and there's a sherry monster. It's worth reminding ourselves that there are. Subtle flavours out there and very good, competent malts uh, that aren't of those uh, styles. I'm keen to try the 18 year old and I'm keen to try other distilleries in this style and in this area. I'm very uh, happy that I've had a Ben Rinnis that would otherwise not have been available to me. So hats off to AD Rattrick. Fantastic. Thank you very much, everybody. I've enjoyed everybody's uh, comments. Um, Let's have a vote as to what we'll have next week because I've got a couple of bottles open. Press 1 in the comments section for a Scotch single malt. Press 2 for an Irish whiskey. Press 3 for an American whiskey. Or press 4 for a Japanese whiskey. So 1 for a Scotch, 2 for an Irish, 3 for an American, or 4 for a Japanese. Let's have a poll. Let's see how we do. Uh, polls will close. Um, 
whatever I decide to do. <laughs> Vote soon. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye-bye.